Hey guys, it's Chris, PDX Picker here. <sighs> I'm pumped. We're gonna be uh, having a video here where I pull some orders that I sold over on eBay and Poshmark. But uh, I, I don't. I just don't know what to do, guys. Sometimes this field, this gig, whatever you want to call it, just knocks you down, and it's like I, I just don't know what to do. Uh, I got a negative feedback <laughs> and we got to talk about it. But um, anyway, I have uh, eight items going out over the last day, seven on eBay, one on Poshmark. So uh, after the intro song, we'll get to pulling those orders and we will uh, talk about this negative feedback. Wanna buy that Farrah Fawcett poster? There's dispensers and a toaster, don't know why. That kind of stuff you throw away, I'll sell on eBay. All right, so, yeah, it's just, I feel like they just kick you when you're down sometimes. You know, I mean, not that I'm down. It's just, I'm just bummed about this scenario in general. All right, first item that's sold. Don't know how well this will come through, but I went to a, an estate sale. And you can see here, this basket is just full of these Lowe's Independent Service Provider t-shirts. I'm also going to quickly interject here and say I apologize for uh, the bouncing up and down or the movement of the camera. Uh... I don't have a gimbal, which is a little device that you attach to your uh, camera so that it kind of moves with you. They're expensive. Um, the cheapest one on Amazon that I is probably any good is over $100. And I don't make any money off of this channel. So <laughs> there's just no incentive for me to spend a whole bunch of money on uh, an undertaking like this when I'm not making any money. So. Um, if you guys are really uh, concerned about it, hey, let me know. I'm 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 free to take donations <laughs> to my Venmo, but uh, yeah, I just I'm sorry. Nothing I can do about it. Uh, I apologize. But anyway, I've gotten several comments about it. Is the only reason why I bring it up. So, uh, so this item here, I bought. Uh, there's 55 of them total. Paid ten dollars for the whole container. I don't know exactly what that. Turns out per shirt, not very much. Um, these are going to be slow sellers. I have sold this one. This is the first one is sold for fourteen dollars and ninety cents, fourteen fifty, free shipping. Um, but hopefully over time, you know, make about five six bucks per shirt or more, and uh, not a bad little flip in my opinion. It's a one listing. It's a multi quantity listing, so I have that one listing for fifty five items. We'll see. All right, this next item that sold, I was pretty pumped about this because it's still kind of crazy to me that there are certain IKEA items that have value. Um, so we'll talk about this, by the way, and then and I'll get into my negative feedback here. So I don't want to bury the lead too much, but uh, yeah, I just think of IKEA as like fast furniture, kind of like fast fashion, cheap, and it probably is overall. But uh, every now and then, there's stuff that sells pretty decently, and here's one of them. It's this, uh, it's called a love lamp, L-O-V, and it says it right there. Hopefully that comes through. But this is kind of known in the circles as the IKEA UFO lamp. Um, so when you turn it on, and just the shape of it, it, it looks a little bit like a UFO has landed. So... This I bought for less than $5 at a Valley Village this store, and it sold for $31.45 plus shipping. I took an offer on it, so who knew? I, Ikea stuff. There's definite value to be, to be made on that. So this next item that sold, you've already seen it. It is this pair of lacrosse hip waders. Uh, I sold it a week or two ago. And the person that bought them said they were too small, so we shipped them back. I relisted them, and they sold within a day. Same price, $40 plus shipping. Hopefully, um, 
this person doesn't have quite as big a feet. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go into that. So, or, or we'll just cross our fingers that that, uh, that this one won't be returned. So, all right, negative feedback. And again, it's it's always on the the low dollar items. So I sold a, a cricket cartridge a couple like a month or so ago, and for like seven dollars and the person said it was the box was sticky and so and it wasn't complete so they left a negative feedback we talked about that in a previous video this one was this item here so it's this vintage one gill which is like a, a quantity a number of ounces of things like a fluid quantity one gill tankard mug pewter made in Denmark okay I had it listed for $13.50 this person sent me an offer for $10.50 I think so I'm gonna point out right here you see that right there right there there's that white on there and uh, there's another set of set of uh, pictures on there okay you might think well if you just showed it in the pictures that's not enough well then you go down to the description i said vintage one gill tankard measures approximately three inches tall one gill is equivalent to four ounces some staining on inside and outside of mug i just don't know how you can get any more descriptive other than i sh i guess i should have put it in the description or the the title Okay, but I, I still felt like I covered my bases, especially on an item that I didn't know if it was ever going to sell. <laughs> Here is the negative feedback I got. Item came with white stains that I cannot remove, exclamation point. Very disappointing. They didn't contact me ahead of time. They didn't do anything other than immediately go on here and leave a negative review or uh, a negative feedback what, what do I do guys what how, how you know I know it's not that big a deal this is my second negative feedback in the last uh, six months though my overall feedback rating is down to 99.4 percent I feel like both of them aren't really super fair um, but especially this one, I disclosed everything in the pictures, in the, in the description, and I still got a negative feedback. I asked for a, a revision. I requested a revision of this feedback, which is basically just asking the buyer to revise their feedback. Um, I haven't heard anything back. I did reply. <clears throat> to this uh, feedback so that other buyers can see it and I said in the description and in the pictures I clearly indicated that there was staining on the side of the mug this is like buying a purple item and complaining that it is purple please remove this negative feedback I know the purple part was probably a little over the top but but that's how I feel about it it's just like guys like or dude buyer person couldn't have been any more clear um you know, and they, they still sent the negative feedback. But anyway, what, what's your advice? What do I do here? Have any of you had recent uh, success or recent experience with feedback revisions from eBay? I know that in, it's, it's very hard to get anything removed from what I understand negative feedback wise. Um, but let me get... Let, let me know, guys. Uh, what's your what's your feedback on this? What's your positive feedback on this negative feedback? So, all right, let's get to pulling the rest of the orders here. We'll pull the Poshmark order. This is a second pair of Ariat boots that I bought at the Goodwill outlet a couple months ago. These ones sold. I want to say for thirty one dollars, but let's let's get the exact amount here in a bit. So it's these boots right here. I was surprised that they were in the uh, Goodwill bin section. I was surprised they were still there. This was a picked over section of shoes. As I'm sure a lot of you know, Ariat is a great brand. 
and the condition on them was not pristine, but I cleaned them up and I think it came out pretty good. Um, I got this stuff cleaned up on the side, uh, cleaned the leather here pretty good. The soles, you know, uh, I was I was pretty proud with the end result of the uh, on these cleaning. So I sold these for thirty five dollars plus shipping on that one. So probably paid four bucks for them on uh, from the Goodwill outlet. So all right, next item is just a kind of a throwaway thing. Uh, my wife does uh, her own hair. She's a used to be a hairstylist. And she, um, so she's able to buy, here it is, um, professional hair styling products. She had a bunch of uh, hair colors left over that she didn't use. Here's one of them here. It's sold for $9, free shipping. So one of those scenarios where you can kind of just sell stuff you have around the house. It still works in, uh, scenario where you're a part-time reseller like this. So next item that sold is a Callaway Solara Golf Club. Probably should have looked at, not Solara, Solaire Golf Club. I have two of them here. Only one of them sold, but I forgot to look at which one it is. It's either a eight iron or a pitching wedge. I have a feeling it's probably a pitching wedge. Sure was. Pitching wedge, pick that up for $6.99 or $4.99, I can't remember, at either the Goodwill um, or the Deseret Industries near me. I can't, one of those two, I picked those up for, um, and it was either, if it was at Deseret Industries, it was $4.99, it was at Goodwill, it was $6.99. Anyway, that sold for $39.95 plus shipping. So these are women's clubs. Get a little better shot of that and um, definitely a good pickup for sure if you find it all right these last two items i'm a little bit nervous about this one here um let me know if you would even have sold this i went to the goodwill outlet and i found this t-shirt and it's by i want to say it's probably a hip-hop group or something like that. It's a group called uh, Suicide Boys. Um, here's the pic, or here is the uh, shirt right here. So, you know, the weight on it is virtually nothing. So I, and I looked it up. I'd never heard of them, but concert t-shirts. This is a concert t-shirt, by the way. Gray Day Live in Concert. You know, concert t-shirts can sell well because they're relatively, uh, limited quantities. Um, so I looked it up and yeah, no, yeah, sure enough. This, this is a, this is a good pickup, especially for the dollar 50 or whatever that I spent on it. But I did notice it's got this, these, these rips in it, these holes. And I disclosed that in the, uh, I disclosed it in the description and in the pictures. Did I disclose it in the title? Probably not. It's, I called it distressed. In the, in the title, I called it Distressed. Um, I listed it for $24.95 plus shipping. I got a bunch of offers at like $12.50. Um, I didn't want to take that little for some reason. I don't know. All the comps for this shirt sell for uh, $25 or more, but this particular shirt, there's none, none other, none, whew, no others listed. So I just decided to hold out for a little bit. I countered at like $20 on the, the low offers. This one person said, the shirt is basically ruined. They're, they offered $12.50, but they said, the shirt is basically ruined. About the only thing that you can wear it as is a tank top, to which I said, well, you, I declined the offer. I said, you don't need to buy it. You know, if you don't want it, don't buy it. Um, but anyway, long story short to say, I sold it for full price, $24.95 plus shipping. A little bit nervous that I'm gonna get a negative feedback or a return on this, but I tried, again, I tried to, I wouldn't have felt that way if I didn't just get that negative feedback on an item that I fair, you know, very clearly described. But it is what it is. So cross our fingers on that one. Wish me luck. This last item is uh, something that I have left over from the original buy when I first got into part-time reselling, I have a few of these left. They are 
uh, brand called World Doll. Not really that good. If you happen to find them, don't pay more than like a buck for it. But these are, this is Rhett Butler from Gone with the Wind. Um, I bought like four of these, paid about $5 each. They had the box, that, the original box that they came in. I didn't know what I was doing back then. I was thinking, oh, doll collectors would love the original box, even though the doll has been removed and clearly all the clothes have been removed on here. Guess what? They don't really care about a box, especially a box like from a doll that's not really that collectible. Anyway, so I listed these. This is now th about three years ago that I first listed these. I think I have two left and I sold this for $15 free shipping. Um, because some people like to buy these, the dolls without their clothes, because they can use them to, you know, customize their own, whatever, whatever people do with, with dolls and where they customize them, add their own clothes to it and, and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, those are the items that sold. Please, uh, help me out guys. Give me some comments about what I should do. Give me some feedback on my negative feedback. Give me some advice. Uh, tell me I'm crazy. Tell me I'm, I'm normal for feeling this way just let me know um appreciate all you guys for watching thanks so much like this video if you did uh subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to get more content like this in the future my thought moving forward i'm hoping to have maybe two what sold videos a week and one um sourcing video we'll see um still not in garage sale season where i'm at uh the weather was nice and now it's turned for a week of solid rain so We'll see. I don't know how much uh, sourcing content I'll be able to get, but all right. Thanks guys. We'll see you next time. Have a great one. Bye-bye.